Hello everyone, I am the Kinter Slave, or Charade as I'm known in the Brony fandom. I thought about putting this video on a different channel, but I'm not going to make pony videos often enough for it to warrant a second channel. So, um, my like five subscribers are just going to have to deal with mixed content. This is going to be a semi-theory video, I guess, on why I personally believe that Scootaloo can, in fact, fly. Maybe not that she will fly. This isn't a video speculating whether or not she will fly in the series. This is a video explaining why I think she can fly. Now, there are a number of reasons that one might say that Scootaloo can't fly. One of those reasons is that her wings are quite small relative to her body compared to other unicorns. You know, the relative size of Rainbow Dash's wings or even Fluttershy's wings, they're about half the length of their body, give or take, where Scootaloo's are just little nubs. And that might be an indication that she can't fly. She has some physical limitation, some physical handicap that prevents her from flying. But there's another pony whose wing-to-body mass ratio is even more ridiculous, and this pony has been shown to fly, to be able to fly. Bulk Bicep has the same teeny tiny wings as Scootaloo, and this huge body, yet Bulk was able to fly. Bulk Bicep managed to fly despite an even more uh, lopsided wing to body mass ratio. So it's certainly not a question of if Scootaloo's wings are large enough to lift her off the ground. They most certainly are if Bulk Bicep is able to fly. One might also say that, uh, well, Lauren Faust said that Scootaloo was uh, disabled and couldn't fly. Um, I'm not certain that she actually stated that, but Word of God does take priority over anything else. However, her statements are no longer Word of God as she is no longer a writer for the show. As she is not a writer for the show, nor is she the owner of the characters, she, she can no longer state with Word of God authority what the characters can and cannot do. And lastly, I am aware that in the episode Flight to the Finish, the story loosely tries to hint at the idea that Scootaloo can't fly. However, the rest of the evidence that this show presents throughout the other episodes of the show n doesn't add up to that same idea. Uh, in fact, there's a lot more evidence to support the idea that Scootaloo can fly. One of these being that uh, other Pegasi with even, you know, with the same tiny wings have flown, both bulk bicep and, uh, I forget if Pound or Pumpkin Cake is, is the, uh, Pegasus, but, you know, the little baby flew with the little baby wings. If the little baby can fly, and Bulk Biceps can fly with this huge body and itty bitty wings, then Scootaloo's wings should be more than enough to at least lift her off the ground in some sort of hovering flight. We've also seen that she's perfectly capable of generating a sizable amount of thrust with her wings. Take, for instance, the episode Cutie Mark Chronicles, wherein she flaps her wings fast enough to displace enough air to very quickly pull not only herself, but a wagon with two other fillies and one adult earth pony inside of it. We can assume they're going pretty fast, due to how the wind is literally whipping their hair. Even if, for some reason, Scootaloo can't fly, despite other characters with similar wing-to-body mass ratios being able to fly, 
And despite the show very clearly showing us that her wings can displace enough air to push matter through a given space at a very fast speed, even if, after all that, for whatever reason, there's something that prevents her from being able to fly in the traditional sense, there are still a number of ways within the show's canon that Scootaloo can fly. Again, not that she will, but that she can fly. Here's the first way that Scootaloo could fly, even if she can't fly. Pegasus ponies can walk on clouds, and they can move clouds. They move clouds by grabbing the cloud and flying with it. So, Scootaloo could, in theory, obtain a, a small disk of clouds or a, or a ring like a cloud ring and use that as a sort of uh, like a water wings or like a floaty, but for flying. Or she could perhaps stand on the cloud and fly it around like, a, say, Static Shock stands on the trash can lid and flies around by magnetizing the trash can lid. Static Shock himself cannot fly, but if he's standing on the magnetic disc, he can mimic flight. He, he, can, he can effectively fly. So Scootaloo could do something like that, uh, perhaps fashioning a scooter out of clouds uh, and using that to fly, standing on the uh, platform of clouds, and then using her wings, which, as we've discussed, can generate thrust, and using that to move the cloud whilst standing on top of it, effectively flying. One last reason that I believe that Scootaloo could potentially fly is that the changing of a uh, pony's physical anatomy through magic has shown to be a canon concept multiple times. Granted, these spells have so far only been performed by characters who are exceptionally powerful. Uh, luckily for Scootaloo, Scootaloo is in contact with these powerful characters, uh, appealing to one of these uh, characters who have the ability to just magically fix her wings, if indeed there is something wrong with her wings, is very high. She has a, a very high likelihood of being able to get in contact with Discord, all you know, through talking to Fluttershy, uh, to appeal to Twilight or to appeal to uh, uh, Starlight Glimmer. You know, any of these characters have the power to just magically fix Scootaloo's wings if indeed there's something wrong with them. So there you have it. Those are the reasons why I think that Scootaloo could fly. Uh, not why I think she will fly. I don't know if she will fly, but I think she could fly. So let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think Scootaloo could fly? Um, did I miss any evidence that would either support my case or help disprove my case? Um, let me know in the comments. And I'll see you, uh, I'll see you next time probably with a RuneScape video. Peace!